Hola. Today, I'm going to tell you how to take a design that you've drawn to blow it up big for like a back piece or a chest piece. I'm gonna show you how to stencil a large design. I drew this design in Procreate. I actually already tattooed this design, so I will pop up a picture at the end of the video of what this ended up looking like. The client that I tattooed this on is very large. Not like obese, but like muscular. I had to go on like my tippy toes to put this on his back. Great guy, cool tattoo. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to blow up your design once you have drawn it on the printer, and then I'm gonna show you how to run it through a stencil machine. Stay tuned. So before I start, I would like to say I did print this on the back of an aftercare sheet, and everything that will be printed today will be printed on the back of an aftercare sheet. The reason being is I forgot my backpack at home and it had a pack of paper for the printer inside of it. So I got to the shop and I realized I don't have any more paper and the only printer paper that I had were all the aftercare sheets. All right, so obviously step number one is to print out your design if you are drawing digitally. If you are drawing with pencil and paper, what I would recommend to you is try to actually draw the design to size the first time you do it so you don't have to go and redraw it. But if you are working with a printer, you are able to just print your design out and resize accordingly. So that is what we will be doing today. Time out. I do have this shirt for sale. It is linked down in the description if you would like to purchase one. And if you have been watching my videos lately or follow me on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere on the internet, you now know that I am launching a clothing brand named Boundless. I'm hoping to have it live and launched by June 1st. And the link for that shirt will be replaced with my clothing store link. I'm really excited to announce what we will be doing to give back to the creative community. That announcement will be coming out soon. Now back to the video. So we have our design here. Obviously this is as big as we can get it on a piece of paper. I tattooed this on someone's back. So how I went about thinking about it was basically dividing the drawing up into different sections to enlarge it. So what I did was basically broke this up into three pieces, each wing and the body. So on your copying machine, it will show you the area that you need to place your paper in order for it to copy. So what you're going to do is mentally break your image into different pieces, place that piece in the area that copies and blow each part of that drawing up. All right, so I'm going to start out with the wing first. Now when you go to enlarge it, make sure that you remember the percentage that you enlarged it because you're going to want to enlarge the entire photo at that same percentage. Some people may think that's common sense, but I'm just mentioning it. So we're going to blow this up 145%. I just feel like that's a good number. All right, so we got this side of the bird all good, and that seems like it is large enough. I mean, obviously, if during your tattoo appointment that this isn't large enough, then you can type in a different percentage. But for demonstration purposes, this is good. Now, even though I was just aiming to enlarge the wing, I do have the bird and the tail in the drawing still. This is what you want, because when you go to tape this design together, you want to have parts of the design that overlap so you can line up the lines, so the drawing comes together as a cohesive stencil. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the other wing, and then I'm gonna do the body and the tail. So when I copied that one, I had the wing that I was copying up in this corner. So what I'm gonna do is just move this up here. So I'm just copying the other wing. Now we have two wings. Now to do the body. Now when it comes to the middle of the design, usually I will just fold the sides in so it's easier to get in that copy area. And we got the middle of the bird. Great success. So now that you have your design in pieces and all in large, things that you will need are scissors and some tape. So now what you're gonna do is cut out your design just like you would before you're about to stencil your design. But what you're gonna do when cutting it is you're gonna leave some of the design that you don't need in order to overlap so that you're able to tape them together. I don't know if that made sense, just watch. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Having a light board for this is incredibly useful. You can use a window to get the light to shine through the design, but this way you're able to see through and line up the design with the other parts of the design. So I'll start with the body first, so then that way I'm able to line the wings up. Now when I cut out this wing, I'm going to leave enough of the design so I'm able to line it up with this one on the light board. Now I'm going to do the same with this one. All right, now once you have all of your parts, you're gonna want to flip them over. So then that way you're able to tape them together on the back of the design. Now you don't want to tape them together too good because this is just to line up the stencil and make sure that it is a good size for your client. So all you really need are little pieces of tape to hold this together because you're gonna to have to take it back apart to stencil it. So using the light board, just line up parts of the design that match. And there we go. There is our design enlarged and ready to size up to your client. Now, the next step is to take the tape off and stencil your design like you normally would a smaller design. But I will save these little pieces of tape because I will be taping the stencil paper together just like I did the design. Now, cut out your stencil just the way that you cut out your drawing.
Now, if you are a super tattooer, you don't need to tape your stencil together if you can just eye it up and line it all up perfectly. But if you are a mere mortal like me, taping your stencil together before putting it on is the best route to go. So now on the light board, you are gonna do the same exact thing that you did with your drawing to your stencil. So now you're gonna put it stencil side down so you can put the tape on the back side of the stencil. At first, I'll usually just tack it together with the tape that I used on the drawing. And once I get everything right and balanced, then I will put more tape on it. So now that we have it tacked together, I'll put one or two pieces of tape on it just to make sure that it stays still. And there is your large scale stencil. Now, when putting this stencil on your client, be very careful because if you mess it up, if you rip it, or if you put it on and, and put too much stencil stuff on the skin, and all these lines get all blown out and messy on the skin, then you have to do this entire process all over again. It's really simple once you get the hang of it, and this wasn't a full back piece, this just went from his shoulder to shoulder, but the same technique is used to do you know, full front pieces or full back pieces. You can do the same exact thing with a sleeve, but I would recommend kind of piecing a sleeve together and not just putting a massive piece of paper on an arm because obviously your arm bends and has curves. The front of you and the back of you is more of a flatter surface, so it's easier to line up a stencil and if you do that on the arm or the leg, it has a lot more of a chance to crinkle up and not lay on the skin correctly. Now to combat the crinkles, what I would recommend doing is cutting little stress cuts into the stencil. Now you're not gonna actually cut the actual design. Right here I would cut in between the wings and you can do this as much as you want just so that this stencil will be a little bit more pliable. Once you press it on the skin, it'll be kind of able to bend and you won't get as many crinkles and hopefully it will lay flatter on the skin. Now if you have any questions about how to actually apply a stencil, I did make a video, I will link it above. So then yes, that is how you make large scale stencils. Here's the picture of the tattoo that I did with that drawing. We had lettering around it and I did the same exact thing that I did with this stencil to the lettering. I pieced the stencil together to make it large enough to fit on his back. Now I know that this design was only shoulder to shoulder. You could do the same exact thing with full torso pieces. You could do the same thing with full back pieces. You're just taping more pieces of paper together. So basically, long story short, large scale stencils are just like a big puzzle. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And I hope that you have a good day.